Taxi dots across. Good evening everyone on a beautiful day coming from you straight out of the Bronx, New York City. This is Flash Instincts. I'm just a, a vlogger, a motorcycle driver, a person who knows a lot about the coronavirus. As I can personally tell you, I have my close friends and relatives affected by this virus and I can tell you that they have survived. Right from the beginning, we noticed some of my neighbors saying hello, a little cute baby, a little a child. My friend's child actually, he, she actually was saying hello, she was interested by the motorcycle. Anyways, I'm gonna go towards a park that I usually go and sit by and chill at. So before I go, I'm gonna speak more about the coronavirus affecting people. It may affect your family or may not, but if it has, I wish the best for your family. But I can tell you that what my, what my friends and their family did is that they drank ginger and garlic. They would boil it in hot water and drink it like tea. Ginger, garlic, and lemons. Ginger is the key ingredient. It is an anti-inflammatory natural herb. And that's literally what all they did and take, and take Tylenol. When they went to the pharmacy, um, they even requested an antibiotic for pneumonia-like symptoms. Now, you might try to go to a hospital and get some drugs, but it's full, full of patients. Especially in the Bronx, you cannot even see a doctor, okay? So the coronavirus is a very serious thing. So in order to combat it, you need to take matters into your own hands. In order to save your family, you have to drink ginger. You have to drink, um, uh, take in garlic. These are anti-inflammatory and natural herbs. It helps you boost your immune system as well. Then you have to know how the coronavirus affects your body. It will attack the lungs. It will hijack the alveoli cells, the ones that help oxygenate your red blood cells. Now. If you don't have oxygenated red blood cells, your, blo your body will weaken and you will feel tired. That is a common symptom of the coronavirus. A lot of people have had that. Again, if you're drinking, um, if you're boiling water, putting in ginger and garlic with some lemons, you'll feel 10 times better. So right now I'm headed towards the park and I'm gonna, you're gonna see a nice view. Perhaps you'll see some people there as well. But going on, after you've figured out some sort of treatment, if, you're, uh, if your family members gets pneumonia-like symptoms, which is uh, congestion, not congestions, not too much congestion, but you might have dry congestions, which because it's a viral pneumonia, that's kind of very, is very dangerous. But what you can do is, again, take anti-inflammatory herbs like ginger and garlic. Another thing you can add on is the is get an antibiotic if you were to manifest into a, a, a bacterial pneumonia then you can use an antibiotic like azithromycin and treat the pneumonia if you treat some of these symptoms eventually you can fight the the disease overall everything is being caused by the coronavirus but a lot of people feel pneumonia like symptoms and and because of that it leads to death Sometimes your body will get into a shock, a sepsis shock, because it's trying to fight so many things at once and cause you to naturally attack your own cells. This is another very risky situation and what you can do if you have that is take antibiotics. Anyways, these are very complex things. I'm not a doctor telling you how to do these things. It's me doing personal research. I didn't have ability to t find a doctor. I literally tried to speak to a doctor for three days straight and not a single doctor would help. I called 911, the ER came for my family and the ER told them, you're not in severe and critical condition so we cannot help you. We cannot take you to the doctor. I went to the, e the Montefiore Hospital, they even, with my family members, they told the family member, we can't help you. We can't help you, you're not in severe condition. The hospitals are so packed, they only take patients that are about to die that's how bad it had become so i had to do my own research look into what was natural remedies that can help my family my friends you know and thankfully by the grace of god by the th grace of google's information i was able to get great information and find out how how to naturally defeat coronavirus Eventually, your body will become immune to it, but you are susceptible to passing it on to another person. That's why most people are told to stay quarantined, so you don't get 
another person infected. If you notice me in, in, in all my videos, I stay at least six feet away from every single person. I try my best to stay away because I don't want to spread anything or get anything from one person to another. This coronavirus is highly contagious and is hard to treat. It's, it doesn't have a full, a full uh, a vaccination. It makes it a special virus. The corona, COVID-19 is, is a disease. The virus's name is called SARS-CoV-2. It's a special virus. It's a, it causes a, a very big disease. And it's a very serious thing. Now, it's right now, I'm about to uh, go down towards this park. It connects towards Van Cortlandt Park. I don't know if you guys are familiar to this area. But that's where I'm almost headed towards. These lights always take forever. You'll see me cutting in a lot of the scenes because th these lights take forever. Anyways, I'm going to take this right and go. And perhaps you guys will can come here and check it out. It's a very nice little subtle park. A lot of people come here to blow it down, I guess. A lot of kids come here. But you can bring your family and friends and have a picnic. You could go fishing here. It's very beautiful. It's very nice, especially during summer. It's, it's a nice low-key spot. You see some people are here already. Yeah, something about me, when summer comes, when spring hits, when peak um, temperatures comes, I'm an outdoors guy. I love going outside and showing the park, showing nature, God's gift to the world. And perhaps you can see my videos and enjoy it as well. I'll show you my vid my motorcycle right now in a bit as I park. I wanted to go around the circle because I always like going around circles here. I actually learned how to drive my car here in this area. So my bike is a Ducati Monster 2016. It's a Monster Dark and it's 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 a beauty. It has 821 cc's. Uh, the only things I added custom was the exhaust, competition works and the mirrors. And the rest is all stock. So right now, I'm just going to walk down and show you this place. This park is big. Van Portland Park around in that area. This is really cool. The Bronx has nice places too. Is that guy fishing over there? Yeah, he's fishing. Those guys are fishing. I don't think you're allowed to fish in this pond. I see ducks across. It's a very nice place. Nice and subtle, peaceful area.
I'm gonna walk around and show you from an another angle. Yeah, I'm not gonna go show the entire park. A lot of it is under construction. I'll just walk around here and show you real quick how beautiful this place really is. That's my baby right there. Let's look at this. Yep. The circle is actually one of the most beautiful places here. Competition works. Ducati Monster 2016. And the custom mirrors. I'm gonna change a lot more. As time goes something that's really nice about this place I'm not sure if you hear me or not in the video but um, you'll notice the flower in the middle of this place is a nice little white flower and it is right in the dead center of the circle I hope you guys stay home stay quarantined so you don't spread it to other people um, if you have family members that are affected by it Again, take lots of water, fluids, boiled water with ginger helps. It's anti-inflammatory. Um, you can take lemon, uh, lemons as well. And that's it, guys. I hope you get better, feel well. Until next time, I'm out, guys. Bye.